I face death. Hi everyone, it's Sayaka and Omar and we are Onigiri Dope. Welcome or welcome back to our channel. Today we have a special guest with us. He has a YouTube channel with his wifey. They travel around Japan showing you guys cool activities you guys can do and some yummy treats that you guys can eat. Brian from Didi and Brian Travels. Yay! And with him today is this insta-famous doggo. Her name is Mika. You can find her on Instagram at Mika Spitz. She's fun, spunky, and beautiful. We highly recommend you guys checking her out on Instagram. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Yay! So today we're going to show you guys some doggo or animal-friendly cafes and restaurants. And today we are in Omotesando in Commune, right Omar? Yeah, we're in Commune. Um, it's an open space where you can do shopping, you can study, uh, you can, there's a co-working space uh, behind us called uh, Midori Iso. Um, it's a place where you can, where the community comes here and hangs out and does uh, everything they need to live. To live? <laughs> <laughs> to live. Okay, let's check it out. So there's a little shop here. So Commune is composed of a lot of little shops and tr food trucks. So I'm gonna get soy meat curry. That's good. So is it difficult finding good places around Tokyo for doggos? And Pets, do you think? Yeah, it's definitely pretty hard. Like, Japan's not the most dog friendly place. Mm -hmm. um, there's definitely a lot of places that do allow dogs. Mm -hmm. You just have to do searching. Mm -hmm. well, places that generally have outdoor seating sometimes allow dogs. Mm -hmm. We have like one or two tables outside that allow dogs. That's surprising because uh, Japan is one of the countries with the most dog owners in the world. Really? It's like top five for sure. I researched it. Are you sure? <laughs> not for this video. I researched it before. Okay. Yeah, so like Japanese people love their dogs. But, Public places don't really allow dogs. Mm. You can't take dogs into like like shopping centers. You can't mm. take them to the supermarkets. <clears throat> restaurants like 90%, 95% of restaurants don't allow dogs. Mm. So when did you start your channel, Brian? So we started about half a year ago. So end of last year, we just started traveling a little bit. We figured like, hey, let's document our trips. Yeah. Like more seriously. Mm -hmm. We we actually had over a year ago. Um, went on an international trip right before COVID started mm. and like did a little bit of vlogging. It was like very, very basic. We just like took like one one video at every single place we went to and like stitched together. Mm. Just kind of for ourselves, but it decided to be a little bit more serious like right. as of half a year ago. Got some rice. So we just finished uh, our meal. Um, it was pretty good. Did you like it? Yeah, definitely pretty good. And uh, we're gonna go and see the farmer's market. Come on, Mika. I'm gonna put my, my mask because I don't want to catch COVID. You can work here too. Did you get that? <clears throat> yeah, the way I describe this place is like super hipster. Definitely very different than the rest of Tokyo. Okay, so this was all for Commune. Uh, next, we're gonna show you another place. Ready to go, Mika? <laughs> she has her derpy face. Hello, so we are at our next location. We are at apartment 301 in Shinjuku, Sanchome. Um, so this location used to be, in, this restaurant used to be in Ginza, but it recently moved to Shinjuku, Sanchome in July, it just opened July 21st, and we are here with Mika again, are you excited? And we're here in the center of Tokyo, so. Are you ready, Mika? You can go inside this restaurant. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> 
She's so hyper. So uh, this is the menu. They serve alcohol, different types of cocktails, sangria, uh, craft beer, there's whiskey, and the food. Uh, and they also have a like, coffee. I mean, this is a cafe. And the food, I guess, it's a. Uh, Italian mixed with a bistro, I guess. Here you have they have tapas, pasta, salad, pizza, two types of pizza, and some meat. And they have course as, uh, menu as well with two hour all you can drink, some dessert. I'm gonna order a sangria, double berry sangria. Oh. <laughs> you want sangria? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, she said. She heard some weird. I heard dog can sense people's emotion by their smell. Mm. Cheers, Cheers, Cheers to the weekend. Cheers to the weekend. Cheers, Mika. Cheers. <laughs> Mika hair. <laughs> it's alright. It's alright. It's pretty good. No. Not much to say. A man with you. A few words, yes. Okay. What do we got? So the caprese has arrived. It's pretty. And um, the garata. It's gonna change. What does I mean? Like people from Google, people from Uber, do they like events here? Half the people in Tel Aviv are YouTubers, yeah, I guess. No, we, we don't want the success, we don't care about the success with us, we want the inspiring people. Right, right, right. So, so this was apartment 301. You guys can comment uh, what you thought about this place and compared to the other place. Um, and we'll head to the next one now. We are here at the Nenchofu station <laughs> to continue our journey to visit uh, different dog cafes. Q station. Hello? Hello. <laughs> so uh, we're at Teko's uh, dog cafe in Nenchofu, which is 10 minutes from Shibuya. And this is this spot is like heaven for dogs, right? Uh, you have right here Pet Photo Beauty Care Salon. As your dog is getting pampered, you know, after that you can go come here and uh, have lunch. And this is a full cafe because they have a huge menu for dogs. Oh yeah, yeah, they have that huge menu. Look at that corgi. And a lot of a lot of dogs come here, right? So dogs can get to interact with other dogs. So, yeah. Have you been here? Or you, but you said he's been here before. He's been here before, right? Yep. Second time here. Let's check it out. <laughs> good. So we're at Deco's Dog Cafe, which is a cafe specialized in allowing dogs. And so if you see all around us, there's a bunch of other customers who also have their furry companions here. And so here they have the grand menu, or the human menu. And they also have a dog only menu. And it looks super comprehensive. Mika, do you want something? Yeah, you should get her something. Wow. It's like a legit menu. Wow. A cake. Oh my god, there's so many dishes. What should we get? Oh my god, so many. Wow, you can get like a birthday thing. Yeah, it's, it's not quite Mika's birthday yet. That's cute though. Sushi might be fun. This is Mika's, Mika's sushi, sushi meal. Roll? I guess it's like carrots. Yeah, I don't know what else is. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Wait, wait. Uh, <laughs> Wait. Okay, go. Eat it. You don't want it? Go. She's confused. She's like, what is this? <laughs> oh, my first sushi. <laughs> She's like licking it. <laughs> You 
you can eat the other one too. Did you get? I got the hamburg set, hamburger, hamburger. <laughs> it's that basically good. like the patty of the hamburger, throw on some other vegetables. It's a very popular dish in Japan. You did that, you must? <laughs> oh, she's eating it now. Oh, yay! Good job! What did you get? Oh, I'm sorry. What did you get? I got um, the pasta lunch set. <laughs> Barking. Yeah, there's a, like a bunch of other doggy services outside that we can yeah. show you guys afterwards. Sure. Okay, so that was the Deco's Dog Cafe. What did you guys think? Uh, Amazing. I liked it. Yeah. 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 The dog menu was beautiful. Um, did you enjoy your sushi? Enjoy your sushi? <laughs> so anyway, that concludes our video of dog cafes in Tokyo. Yeah. How many places did we go there? <laughs> we went to three in three. total. Which one is your favorite? I mean, even if it's not among the three. My favorite, I like them all. Like Anywhere them. I can take Mika is a great win for me. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to follow Brian. He has an amazing channel. Link down in the description. Make sure to like and subscribe to us also. Right, Omar? Yes, please <laughs> subscribe to our channel. But anyways, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.